The distinguished chairman of the Committee on Children, Representative Irvin, you have the floor, madam. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move acceptance of the Joint Committee's favorable report and passage of the bill. Question is on acceptance of the Joint Committee's favorable report and passage of the bill. Will you remark, madam? Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Public Act 11-194 established a process for DCF, the Department of Agriculture and State, Regional and Municipal Animal Control Officers, to cross-report suspected child abuse and neglect and instances of an animal being treated cruelly. I am very, very happy to report to this chamber that the level of collaboration between the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Children and Families has been excellent. It's very, very much so in the training aspects of this, where we have had very successful and well-attended training programs. We actually had a national expert, Phil Arco, come in, and we filled 2C for two days with DCF workers and Department of Ag workers sharing information. This bill built upon the foundation laid by Public Act 11194 by expanding the scope of the reporting requirements to more appropriately capture open DCF child protection service cases. The new language will help ACOs and DCF work together to identify children and families who may be in need of assistance from DCF and to address incidences of animal cruelty. I urge my colleagues to support this bill. Thank you, Madam. Would you care to remark? Would you care to remark further on the bills before us? Representative Betts. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, very briefly, uh, I urge everybody to support this. It's a good bill. There was no opposition to it. So I ask everybody to support it. Thank you very much. Would you care to remark? Thank you, sir. Would you care to remark further on the bill uh, before us? Representative Hovey. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Just through you, a question to the proponent of the legislation. Please proceed, madam. Thank you, sir. Through you, Mr. Speaker, I just wanted to inquire of the good gentlewoman why it is so important for um, this kind of communication to be occurring between um, the Department of Children and Families and the reporting of abuse to animals and the reporting of abuse and neglect of animals through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Urban. Through you, through you, Mr. Speaker, um, it is a, it's a well-established fact that there is a link between um, animal cruelty and future violent behavior. Um, through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Hovey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And through you, does the good gentlewoman think that the possibility of this reporting and um, collection of information will be useful for prevention in any way, shape, or form through you, Mr. Speaker? Representative Irvin. Through you, Mr. Speaker, absolutely. <laughs> Representative Hovey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And through you, could she explain how that would be <laughs> occur through you, Mr. Speaker? Thank you. Representative Irvin. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Um, if we can find an incidence of animal cruelty, we have found that if there is neglect of an animal, there is an 80% chance that there is a neglect of a child. Um, and 71% of pet owner women who entered uh, shelters reported that their bat or her had injured, maimed, killed, or threatened the family pet. And that was done in front of 75% of the time in front of children who were then threatened or coerced from that uh, incident. So the, the idea through you, Mr. Speaker, to the good representative is to be able to interrupt that cycle of violence and save some children from future uh, abuse and neglect. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Hovey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the gentlewoman for her answers. Um, I um, support this legislation and I understand the importance of it. I know that there are people who try to minimize, minimize the important of minimize the importance of uh, communication across our um, state entities. But this is one area where it's very important. 
for that communication to occur for pre prevention purpose. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Which carry remark? Which carry remark further on the bills before us? Representative Shaben. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A quick question through you, if I may. Please proceed, sir. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Through you, um, since we passed the original bill, do we have a, a, an idea of how many reports or communications or have actually happened pursuant to the original bill? Through you? Representative Urban. Through, through you, Mr. Speaker, we have had very few, and that was because of the narrowness of the way we originally wrote the bill. So when we did these trainings and we had the ACO workers together with the DCF workers, it led to this um, furthering of the language so that we would be able to capture more of the cases and be able to prevent some future violent behavior. Through you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Shaven. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the lady for her answer. 